So uh, today we'll be checking out our new plugin that's the Magento 2 multi vendor Marketplace campaign plugin. Now this is particular plugin is a performance driven marketing plugin and by the help of this plugin the store owner can create multiple campaigns, add stunning banners and add flexible promotional rules as required. The admin can create campaigns for a specific duration and promotion discounts on the products and can select the customer groups on which these uh, particular promotional discounts would be uh, applicable. Apart from that, the sellers can join the campaigns through the email or uh, through the marketplace seller dashboard within the last join date that is available. And the sellers can also add multiple products to the campaigns and can change the status and the quantity of the added products in the campaign. Now, all in all, this particular plugin allows the marketplace admin to create multiple campaigns that are live campaigns, upcoming campaigns, as you can see here on the storefront. Uh, the customers are able to see the uh, particular campaigns under the offers section. So here we have a current one that's live and is clickable. And uh, we have the upcoming offers or as well that are not clickable and are having the start from and the uh, date and time uh, visible to the customers there. Now kindly note that this particular plugin is an add-on to the Magento 2 multi-vendor marketplace by Webcool. So you'll have to have the Webcool's Magento 2 multi-vendor marketplace first and then you'll be able to make use of the add-on that's the Magento 2 multi vendor Marketplace campaign plugin. Now in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you the workflow at the customers end, how the customers can access those campaigns at the storefront and how the marketplace vendors would be able to view the particular uh, campaigns, how they can join the campaigns and how they can add their products to the campaigns there and how the customers can uh, enjoy the benefits of the discounts within these uh, campaigns. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. Now, right now, you can see that I'm at the Marketplace uh, web store front end. And I've already logged into my customer account. And after going to the offers section here, I can see a current uh, one uh, that's a campaign created by the admin. And I have an upcoming offers as well that are not clickable yet and accessible because it is starting from the third of this particular month and this one is accessible so if I tap on this particular offers uh, page I'll be taken uh, to the uh, summer offers that the admin has already created from the uh, backend panel so here you can see that I've created summer offers and upcoming offers and uh, the summers is live and the upcoming offers is upcoming right now and uh, the products in uh, the uh, summer offers is right now four and no seller has joined in so i'll be showing you how the sellers will join in there as well so coming back to the summer offers now here i can see the particular banner of the offer there and from here i can tap on the returns and conditions to check the terms and conditions of the offer itself and i can share uh, this offer on the facebook or on the twitter as well by tapping the same and then uh, in logging into my account and sharing the same with the uh, social networks there that are the Facebook and the Twitter itself. And if I scroll down, I can see the phone number of products that are there. Right now, well, these products are of the admin himself. And in the in a meanwhile, from now, I'll be showing you how the uh, marketplace vendors would be able to find these uh, offers and how they can join the same. So, but I'm just first showing you the customer front. So under the offers, we have the complete list of offers that are live and uh, that are upcoming. So let me go to the offers section once again. Uh, so this is the live one that's clickable and this is the upcoming offers. I can tap here on this particular offer to check the offer, uh, the banner of the same and the production under that. Now I can add the products into the cart and depending upon the promotional rule uh, created by the admin for this particular campaign, the discount would be uh, provided to the customer. So you can see that uh, I've added two products into the cart uh, right now. Uh, that's the uh, Wafer Messenger Bag and the Rival Field Messenger Bag. So I have two products into the cart. You can see that the subtotal is right now 90. If I go to the Wave and Edit Cart section, here we can find that uh, a discount is uh, being applicable here on the products there that's for the uh, 60 dollars now this uh, discount depends upon the promotion that has been set uh, there by the admin for the respective offers there so you can check uh, the uh, other video of this particular uh, particular plugin wherein we have shown how to create the offers and how to create the uh, promotions or how to apply a promotion within that as well so after that uh, as you can see that uh, we have received the discount the customers can easily proceed to the checkout by tapping here on the proceed to checkout 
and can get a discount uh, there as required so after there uh, they'll select their shipping method tap on the next button then they'll select their particular uh, payment method as they want and then they can place the order along with the discount as well for the particular campaign from where they have uh, purchased the products and then they can tap easily on the place order button to place the order and get the discount on those uh, products there so now coming uh, to the to the marketplace vendors end uh, uh, as you can see that I've uh, logged into the uh, vendor end and uh, here's the marketplace dashboard now all of uh, the upcoming uh, uh, what we see as uh, the uh, campaigns would be visible here as you can see I have not uh, added any of the banners for the uh, for the seller end dashboard here so here you can see that we have the upcoming offers and we have the summer offers join now so from here the uh, marketplace vendor can tap on the join now button to join a particular campaign as required and uh, for example if we want to join the upcoming offers uh, or uh, let's go for the upcoming let's tap here on the join now button and here uh, are the upcoming offers uh, and here is the campaign detail uh, here's the title of the campaign uh, the duration of the campaign is there the campaign is started by the admin the last date to join is the third of this particular month and here's the information that's the upcoming offers I've just given it as for the demo purposes there here's the banner and here's the join campaign uh, option uh, to join this particular campaign to join the campaign you just need to tap here on the join campaign button and you will be joined you'll be successfully joined to the campaign there and then you need to add the products so now you can see that uh, we have the option to back to campaigns and here another uh, tab has been added that's the products tab now here all of the seller products would be listed you can select your products from the action drop down you can tap on the enable option and that would add your products to this particular campaign that's the upcoming uh, campaign there so you have successfully assigned four products to the campaign so we have added the four uh, products to the campaigns now apart from checking the campaigns here under the market marketplace dashboard let's go to the marketplace dashboard and uh, there at the top we were able to see the upcoming uh, offers or the campaigns that can be joined by the marketplace vendors let's go back to that particular section once again so apart from here you can also go and check the campaigns there uh, by going to your account panel and navigating to the campaign section so let's tap here in the uh, campaign section and here the marketplace vendors will find the complete list of uh, uh, campaigns that are there running within the marketplace that are having the running status as expired live and upcoming and here the, you can find the campaign title the start date end date the running status and the number of products within the same that you have added so we had just added four products to the upcoming one uh, for the upcoming offer so it's showing four uh, the joint status is uh, showing as yes we also have the summer offers uh, that we were checking out at the storefront if I go to the offer section once again uh, this was the uh, this was the upcoming offers uh, to which we have just joined and added the four products and this is the summer offers if I tap on that this is the summer offers it has four admin products now let's go back now I'll be joining this so I can view it by tapping here on the view link under the actions column as well and that would basically bring up the uh, campaign details for the seller so here we are again on the same page so here's the campaign info the title duration with date and time the last uh, date to join the campaign campaign started by the admin uh, here's the test description for the seller campaign. You can add uh, the description as required. You can check the backend configuration video for more details. Uh, here's the seller information. We let's join the campaign by tapping here on the join campaign. So we are going to join this uh, summer campaign that we have. We have four products of the admin. Uh, we'll be adding a few ones. So we have joined the campaign. Now we need to add the products to the campaign. So now we have the products tab. So I'll go to the products and I'll be adding a few products uh, to the campaign now. So uh, here I'll be selecting the products uh, for the campaign and here right now you can see that the status is disabled for the products. So I'll just choose uh, these five products from the drop down I'll choose enable and this will enable these products and add it to the particular summer offer. Right now you can see that we have only four products of the admin himself and after the products have been added those products would be listed of the vendor would be displayed here 
uh, within this campaign as well. So you can see that we'll get a prompt that you have successfully assigned five products to the campaign. So uh, if I go back to the products now, uh, here you can see that the five product status would be set as enabled and the rest would be disabled. So here we have enabled, enabled, enabled and disabled. So now if I go to the summer uh, offer at the storefront for the particular campaign, and now if I refresh this page, we'll be able to see that uh, the five products or the window would be displayed here under this particular campaign as well and would be accessible to the sellers, uh, to the customers basically. So here we are having the summer offers under the offers and here are the rest of the five products that have been added of this particular seller as well. So that was how you can assign the products uh, by going to the campaigns as well. Now if I go to the campaign section once again, here we'll be able to find the campaigns and the number of products uh, that we have added. So now you can see that uh, first we were showing the upcoming one, we added four to that. Uh, the joint status, status was yes. Then we joined uh, the summer offers, joint status is yes. Number of products that we added is five. And this was the live one. Now here, uh, let me refresh this page for the admin. Initially it is showing zero there for the sellers uh, being added for the uh, particular campaign. So let the page uh, refresh up. Now you can see that the live one is showing number of sellers as one. Uh, the upcoming is showing seller as one. Number of products, you can see that uh, here initially there were uh, four of the admin, five of the vendors, so it's showing nine. Uh, the admin had not added anyone uh, under the upcoming, so it's showing four of the vendor only. So yes, that was much about uh, the workflow at the uh, customer's end and at the sellers and as well how the sellers can join the uh, campaigns, how the customers can view the offers uh, there or the uh, campaigns that are upcoming by going to the offers section and then they'll find the live offers as well as uh, the upcoming ones. These are the uh, live one and these are the upcoming ones and uh, the rest of the flow as well. So that was much about today's uh, video itself and I think uh, it helped it might have helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.qbdesk.com. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a